Hi there, welcome back to Think Chang Online Learning. In this video, we're going to look on limits and continue it. Okay, so if you're looking for other videos like this one, go to the description. You're going to see a playlist named Limits and Continue It. Okay, you're going to see a lot of limits there and how to prove if a function is continuous or not. Okay, so in this problem, we're given that a function f of a, b, c, a and b, c are the variables. We want to prove if the function is continuous at this point where a is 1, b is 1, and b is equals to 1. Okay, so we're told that the function is defined at this point. At point 1, 1, the function is equal to 0. But here we can't plug in 1, 1. Why? Because if you plug in 1, 1, the function will become undefined. Because you can't have, if you have a fraction, you can't have 0 in the denominator. So as you can see, if you say 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, you get 0. Okay. So now what we are going to do, okay, some of you may think of rationalizing this one, but the moment you try to rationalize it, you are going to see it's going to be, it's going to become very, 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 very big and it will be too bad to solve. Okay, so what you are going to use, you are going to use some basic principles, because in mathematics, we use what we know to solve what we don't know. Okay, so as you can see, some of the variables is roots, 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 okay, so each and every time you see roots, just think of this. You know, root a squared is equal to a. So that means a is equal to root a times root a. So that is the concept that we are going to use. The other concept that we are going to use is that for root bc, I'm going to use the example for root bc, is same as saying root b times root c. Okay, so, so with this symbol, fundamental, with this fundamental concept, what we're going to use, we're going to conquer this problem. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the limit as A, B, C approaches, okay, point one, one. And for this one, I'm going to group it. So let me start by writing A minus root of AC plus, okay, let me write root bc minus root ab okay and i'm going to divide this let me start with a like what i did right there minus root ac plus okay in this case i'm going to write root ab minus root bc okay like this and we said that for a is same as root a times root a. So I'm going to factorize. Unfortunately, I'm not going to write this as root a times root a because I'm trying to say space and I want to make this video as short as possible. Okay, so if you're liking this video, just make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't noticed, we have a mod variable playlist where there are many topics that are in mod variable class from limits up to complex variables okay we've got you covered we oh, just need to do just comment if you have any problem any question just let me know in the comment section okay so i'm going to factorize here by factor by factor bring out root a so if i factor out root a i'm going to have root a here and here i'm going to have root c remember i said that root b c same as saying root b times root c Okay, like this one. And for this one, I'm going to factor it with B, F, B. So I think root B is the best. It's the best to factor out. And you are going to have root C minus root B. Okay, minus root A. Sorry. Okay, and we're going to divide. For this one, I'm going to factor out root A. What's with A? Mm, okay, I'm going to have root A minus going to have root C plus. Okay, let's factor out root b again. And here we're going to have root a minus root c. Okay, and let's use let's use simple factorization. Is is these variables approaches one one? You can see that in this case our c is negative and our c a is positive okay so that means if you want to do it it was best to first write negative a b then b c there so that means i'm going to just change it i'm going to factorize and i'm just going to put a negative so if we do that we're going to have root a 
and the here we're not going to have a positive we're going to have a negative root b and we're going to have root a minus root c divided for this one this one is good we have root a plus root b okay and we have root a minus root c okay like this and uh, we can simply come say we here and we're going to have the limit as a b c is the approach point one one we're going to have root a minus root b over root a plus root b and look if we put one one here we no longer have zero so that means we succeeded in that what we wanted in the first place so we're going to have one minus one and it's zero on the numerator but in case we don't care about that zero because it's on the numerator as long as it's on the denominator that will become a problem and you're going to have one plus one and we're going to have zero okay so the limit at this point is zero okay so now let's just look at the conditions our conditions for continuity first of all is the function defined at this point so f of a b and c at z at 1 1 is equals to 0 yes it's defined is equals to 0 so that means we can say the first condition has been satisfied okay let's go to the second condition does the limit exist at this point yes we've concluded the limit the limit of f a b c at a b c approaches one one is equal to zero yes the limits exist we've, we've calculated it okay now for the third condition which is the last f of a b c at this point at point one one at a b c approaches one one is it equal to the limit at that point limit of f a b c at a b c is equals to one one okay let's see the limit at this point is zero and the function is defined at zero and that's a tick okay so all conditions has been satisfied so now we can safely say this function is continuous at this point okay so right here some of you may be confused right here okay why i didn't say root a plus root b i said that look at our c here our c is negative and our c is positive here and our a is positive and but our a is negative here so that means we can just put a negative b here and if we put a negative we're going to see that our c is going to become negative and our a is going to become positive and this one is going to look the same as this one that's what i have done just did okay so don't forget to subscribe see you next time